love. <laughs> My parents have uh, normal size necks. <laughs> I am uh, six foot four. But it's a lot more fun telling people that I'm six one. <laughs> because when I tell a five ten guy I'm six one, he is absolutely devastated. <laughs> and the truth is, I used to be six one, and then one day I took a Viagra and it got stuck in my throat. <laughs> I'm skinny, I'm skinny, but I'm too lazy to get jacked. I'm more lazy than I am insecure. So if you see me jacked, just know that means someone really hurt my feelings. You know? But I have been going back to the gym recently to make myself presentable for mating season. So within the next month or two, I should be looking like a hot piece of giraffe. I've also been trying to prove my jawline. So I've been going to sleep wearing a ball gag. <laughs> Nothing too fancy, just your textbook red ball gag. <laughs> I live in a pre-war building in Manhattan. Pre-revolutionary war. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's been around stabilized for us and they paid 48 shillings a month. <laughs> I'm trying to get some artwork for my apartment, so I commissioned a painter. I've got two paintings. One is a portrait of myself, and the other is a self-portrait of the painter. So now people come over to my apartment and say, Eric, that is an awesome portrait of you. Who painted it? I just go, this guy. I have a roommate, he's a man, we have different beds. <laughs> but a couple nights ago, he came into my room at two in the morning to take my phone charger. And I woke up and went, oh! Because <laughs> I was wearing my ball gag. Now, 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 let's get to the jokes. I've got some good ones coming. I can't say this definitively, uh, but I'm pretty sure the other day this guy Pythagorean theorem to me at the urinal. He asked me how tall I am. And he asked me my shoe size. And I think he took A and B to calculate the size of my C. <laughs> You could have just peered over the divider. That's what I did. And he had one hell of a C. <laughs> Lately, I've been uh, trying to pick up women in the New York Public Library, but uh, I keep getting cocked by the no talking policy. <laughs> the piercing silence only increases the sexual tension. <laughs> I mean, the New York Public Library has unequivocally the hottest and wisest women in the city. So many learned hoes. First time I went there, I was genuinely caught off guard by the beauty. I instinctively removed my beret. I went up to one woman and quoted Descartes. Said, I think I should be your boyfriend, therefore I am. Sound a little creepy though because they whispered in. <laughs> My point is, you don't go to the library for the books, you go for the bitches. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, I was actually at a bar, and um, this very short, drunk girl came up to me and she said, If you were three inches taller, I could suck your dick standing up. <laughs> and I had no idea how to respond. So I just went. <laughs> Thank you.